So we're gonna be uh, stripping the car of what I ended up doing. Let's talk, about, let's talk about what Dan did. Number one mistake, you never put alcohol on a microfiber cloth and put it on your paint or your vinyl because the dye will migrate into that surface. I've actually seen it happen on clear coat and dye blue into the clear coat on a white car and it cannot be removed that I know of. So that vinyl was ruined by the cloth dye migration. Now then here we have lifting, peeling. This has only been down a few days, bad corners. It's peeling up in here. It's lifting and peeling here. It's lifting and peeling on the front. So this just shows anybody can put vinyl down and make it look good for a week. But then the vinyl has a memory and if it's not installed right, it'll start pulling back and pulling off the car. And this is, a, this is not a complicated panel. It's a flat, it's a fairly very smooth panel. So you can see that if it's gonna do it on this panel, when you get to the fenders, it's gonna be even worse. You know, back here, it's, it's lifting off the front of the lip. The corners weren't, you know, aren't, don't look too good because they're not pulled down right. They're folded over. Anywhere you have a fold over or a finger or oh, a you're wrinkle, supposed to pull it? it's gonna start coming apart there and it's gonna start coming off. Vinyl has to be laid down flat, not folded over. And then this seam, I don't know. I mean, yeah, I knew that was messed up. I'm just because I didn't have the This cake. is where Dan thought a chainsaw would be good for cutting vinyl. <laughs> So, and it's already fingering, these fingers are coming up, they're lifting. This is just gonna grow back up here, grow back up here, it's just gonna lift off because yeah, it doesn't- that's actually not even a finger. It's a wrinkle. No, it's, it's, I tore it. So this is, this is what- I tore it and I didn't want to redo it, I was fucking- So, so an air bubble is any shape that has air under it. As soon as that vinyl has contacted a surface or, or itself, which it has here, it's glue to glue, that's a wrinkle. Dirt and, and stuff's gonna go up under there and it's gonna eat its way out. Yeah. So, I mean, and then down here actually isn't the worst I've ever seen, but it's gonna start, it's already pulling back here and here. Yeah. So, Dan's got two choices. He keeps doing this and ends up having to strip it all off and throw it away and just waste money because it's, these next panels are even more complicated. We know what we can do. And they're gonna be worse. Or we strip it and do it the right way. So, but it takes. Dan had to learn his lesson first. So it, it, yeah, no, I mean, don't get me wrong guys, it was fun, but pretty much, um, I know I've been promising to you guys that the car is gonna be done and everything, and it but will we it are, will so be. basically what Mark's gonna be doing with me is he's gonna like be teaching me how to actually wrap. Today we're gonna go and do a van, um, and like basically I'm gonna be learning the whole process of how wrapping actually works. And something that he told me is, how you need to think about, like when it comes down to making videos on YouTube, you need to think about more than day by day by day. You have to think, like what are you gonna be doing with your channel in the future? For me, a really good example is I make videos on cars, but when winter comes, what am I going to be doing with this? I'm not gonna be driving this car in the winter. So it's like having people like him that are willing to teach me to basically do all the cars, put up signs and stuff like that, wrapping other cars and wrapping PS5 consoles and all of that stuff. That is pretty much what this job is. And he said I could use this footage. He already told me I could. But anyways, man, it was fun trying to do it. I already knew it wasn't gonna come out perfect. Uh, but it is what it is. It was it was fun to try it, and he's right. Yeah, you know, Mark, he's sarcastic, smart ass. You, I know you're gonna be watching this, but you know it's. He's right. He is. It's like any a lot of people. We just barely went and looked at like a really really nice Subaru STI WRX STI, and like I thought I actually thought it was a paint job. But then I, we went and looked at it like up close and it was a job that Paul ended up doing. Everything was peeling off of the edges. Things were like crinkled up, like how the corners, and I'll admit it guys, like I'm not, you know, this was my first time ever doing this. So this is the truck that we're gonna be doing. It's a big ass truck, dude. We gotta get me one of these shops, man. This is nice. That bike is sick too. Yeah, take a break. My arm is killing me from cleaning that. But then there's this. 
you can't like live in it apparently mark said like it has to be used for a business but um basically what i'm doing right now is uh, alcohol wasn't doing very good so i've already done the other side and i'm doing this side now um basically what he wanted me to do while he go gets the wrap is dry buff it I, don't, I mean that's what he said to do and basically i've been going like one two three at a time and then i have to move this thing it's sketchy to be on i know it looks it feels the same way and you gotta press real hard you know So they still have to trim the edges and stuff. Mark still has to do that. Sean is doing the like bolts. What he's doing is, because there's bolts all over the, um, like the truck, he has to like push them in like that. So. Looks pretty good. This is this side, side that you guys haven't seen. And then this side over here is the one that you have seen, but we only did one. There's that. See where we are at. It's a big difference. So this is how we're gonna end the video, guys. Just a little bit of mom and son time. I hope that you guys enjoyed that. I hope you guys learned something. I learned a lot of stuff today as well. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember to leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. Quick mention, I do have my, why am I saying that? Second channel. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.